We got cherry candy. You got anything else? What is it? I want to talk more. Mr. Brett, that tie on your hair is so sparkly and cool. Yes, I got it from a dragon child in the care of the force. Cool, and those accessories on your belt too? That's right, I've gotten a lot of gifts from people as good luck charms. Even the captain's eye patch came from the children. Oh, okay, that's adorable. Because he can just regenerate any lost eyes. But he can see through the patch, so it's no problem. Are these children around my age? Yes, many of those are... Yeah, many of those in our care are child dragons. Lots of kids. Because they can't control their powers, many have immense power but can hardly use it. Bad guys try to take advantage of this and get dragons to use their powers for them. My abilities would be useful to spies and such, for example. Hmm, yeah. Not that I know why I was born with powers. Convenient for those sorts. I wonder if I was born for some convenient reason, too. Who knows? We still can't really say why dragons are born. Hmm, I guess it's not like ba bad dragons are born from bad humans. When they've just been born, they don't know good from bad. Most dragons earnestly follow the orders of their parents, so to speak. Though once they grow up, if they feel like it, they can certainly stop doing so. Are there grown-up dragons with the police, too? There are quite a few in similar standing to myself. Most join the police and do work for us. How do you become a grown-up dragon? They're really tall! Realize your power, learn how to use it, and acquire knowledge. Or age? I don't know. I guess the, the former. Dragon aging is... odd. If you do all that, eventually you'll be an adult dragon. Got it. Thanks for telling me all that stuff. Don't mention it. I'm glad to be of service. You can have this, too. I was given far more than I could eat. Candy! Hooray! What do we got? More cherry candy. Sweet. Alright, let's go find peeps to talk to. His info. Okay. There you are. Oh, I was just about to go wake you up. Save me the trouble. I got up a while ago. I was talking with the captains. They, they talked for a while. Oh, right. What are they doing here? Not a corpse in sight. They said they had this yeah, business with the dragon kid. Wonder where they got that for info from. I'd like to meet where, whatever informant they've got. Wanna go ask? No, not really. I'll look into it myself. Now let's move. First the boy, William. We'll have to talk to him. He's up. Yeah, I heard them talking in the room earlier. Let's go. Alright, let's go get some info. Wait. There's people. And where there's people? Oh, okay. There is no lies today. Yet. Alright, let's... Oh. William, he went to Olivia's room. Olivia's quite skilled at entertaining children. I must attain... No, maintain a positive attitude as well. Okay. I feel like all of you people are scary to have children around, but, you know. Oh, something happened. No. Don't eat her right now. Alright. So, kid, good morning. I want to talk a little, is that okay? Huh? Um, yes. Can we go somewhere else? Where? In the hall outside, please. Wonder why? Guess we have to. I don't think anyone will be listening here. Ask me anything. Will, are you a dragon? Hey. I don't know either. Miss Sophia tells people I'm a human, though. Is she often worrying over you? Yeah, not just me. She worries for Mr. Lucas and Miss Olivia and Thom and Mars. She's even concerned for customers she doesn't really know. And lately, she's been really worried about the incidents with Mr. Lucas. Do you think you're human? It's only supposed to be dragons who can do magic and stuff, right? And what magic is that? I can... I can eat dreams. Yeah, so you are like me. When you eat dreams, is there a monster of sorts that comes out for you to eat? No, not really. There's this cotton candy stuff that floats over people's heads. Hmm. I haven't had cotton candy in so long. I just suck it up, and they forget all about that dream. If I stare at it, I can see what's in the dream, too. So no monsters that go rampaging, huh? So I suppose you must be related to the people here, losing their memories, right? No, I'm... I'm not... 
I'm I'm usually with Miss Sophia, and I'm always studying, so I hardly even move. And, and these things happened before I came. Oh no. Will, you lied. We'll ask you again after this. Effie, clean up. Meal time! Mmm, tasty. I barely move, I'm always studying. So is all of this a lie, or only some of it? It happened before I came. I feel like that's definitely a lie. And the ice. And fire. Ha, you miss. Oh. Okay. Oh, is that the only lie then? Why'd you lie? Because, um, Miss Sophia. What about her? Uh. Did you still not want to ask something? No, that's fine, thanks. What? Okay, goodbye. Why well, just... Oh. Damn it, he took him. Huh? Our memories. But he calls it eating dreams, I guess. That settles it. William's a memory eating dragon. He took our memories? How'd you know, Hal? I was taking notes while he wasn't looking. But now I can't remember what I have written here. Good thing I've been taking these, then. Let's talk to the manager next. Got it. Oh. Memo 3. People have been frequently losing their memory since William arrived. Memo 4. The manager worries for many people, and lately have been worried for Lucas. Memo 5. William thinks he's a dragon, not a human. Alright. Uh. Who else were we talking to? Hey, Lucas. Hope this can be the last time. I'm getting... It's getting annoying. I mean, sure, maybe I reap what I sow. But I don't remember, so what do I do? So, so what do I know? Yeah, you're gonna get strangled a lot for a while, probably. Alright, Olivia. Yes? Would you mind talking to us for a bit? That's alright, I'll do what I can. I asked you this before, but why did you wait this long to contact the police? And this was the fifth time. If this has been that frequent... Lucas being stabbed or strangled or burned. It's all too common for the man. There are always minor injuries, so I couldn't be too worried. Hmm. Next is about William. Miss, do you think he's a human, or do you think he's a dragon? A human, of course. He says he eats dreams, but... He's a child. He's just playing around. William's a fine human. These monsters appear when people tell lies. Because I'm a dragon, and I eat lies. Well, we'll ask you again after this. Yes. Okay. I'm not worried. Hmm. They're just minor injuries. Dude was unconscious after being strangled. Happens to him near daily. Well, he was a human. That's definitely a lie. This one's actually got a lot of health. Look at that. Ow. Jeez, that hurt. Oh, no. Okay. Ooh, that's an experience. Little I learned. Dragon I learned. Uh, what we got here? It happens to him near daily. I mean, with his wife. There are just minor injuries. Or, I'm not worried. Ash. But William said that you worry about lots of people, so... Fire! You guys are missing a lot. Don't miss! Come on. Ow. Finish it. There we go. Triple knife and holler and sweet. So. You're very worried about Mr. Lucas, aren't you? And you were reluctant to contact anyone because of William, yes? Correct. Why? Does it have to do with Will? Maybe you didn't know, but the police shelter dragons. Whether those dragons are subject to unfair treatment, or if their power is unstable and they can't control it. I found out that rumors were spreading about him. I thought if I called the police, they would look into William. And I thought for sure they would take him away. I did do some research into dragons. 
but I haven't the faintest idea why William's power is unstable lately. He's suffering so much, but in my ignorance, I can't help him at all. I failed as a parent. And I was very worried about Lucas, too. But he wasn't getting seriously hurt, so I didn't want to worry because of William. I need to protect them, but I can't protect anyone. I'm pathetic, this is also shameful. I'll do what I can. Miss Sophia, maybe ignorance was a part of your actions. But there's no shame in it. You were doing everything you could. So for William and for Mr. Lucas, I'll ensure this is resolved. Thank you so much. Also, can I ask you two more questions? Ask away. Mr. Lucas and Miss Oliver, have they really never so much as fought? Not as far as I know. But my memories may not be accurate, because William may have eaten them. Although yes, I feel there have been more things being broken lately. And I don't know why that is. Have Miss Olivia and Miss Wi uh, Miss Olivia and William been together more lately? Yes, they have. He's very often with Olivia when she's not working. Thank you for speaking with us. That'll be all. I hope you can help us. Can you really solve this? Resolve this? Yeah, we should be close. Let's go to Olivia. Yes. This mystery needs to be solved. What's up, lady? No, oh, something happened. Do you mind if I talk to you for a moment? Yes, go ahead, if I can be of help. I'll get right to the point. It's about this, well, all of these incidents with Mr. Lucas. Are you the one responsible? Now, why do you think that? Mr. Lucas is loathed on womanizing as a parent, but... Miss Olivia, I also hear that you're quite jealous. So I wondered if perhaps you strangled Mr. Lucas and put him on the cross every time. Even if you're right, what's the point without evidence? That's something I'm going to confirm right now. Have you been getting along poorly with Mr. Lucas, with constant fighting? I've told you this before, but while he is quite the arrogant playboy, I'm not dissatisfied. We don't fight or anything. Because that's part of the man I adore. Ooh. What are these? This girl here is basically a lie detector. Getting fed up with explaining, huh, how? <laughs> hmm, I see. I suppose I get it. We'll ask your explanation once these are cleaned up. Hell, I'm actually getting kind of full now. Well, they're not gonna go away any other way, so quit complaining. But, like, I'm tired of the little ones. Just eat, I'll give you candy later. Woohoo! Candy's pretty awesome. Alright, so what do we got here? We don't fight. Or... He's a womanizer. I'm pretty sure that one's straight up true. We don't fight has gotta be a lie. Mm, yeah, let's do that. And fire. Arrow. Yeah, let's do the grenade. Or, yeah, the grenade, actually. Purple knife hits one thing multiple times, doesn't it? Let's do that. Ow. Here we go. Problem solved. As I thought, you were fighting after all. The manager informed me that things were getting broken for unknown reasons. Perhaps those reasons are unknown because you're using William to erase all memory of it. He's been with you often when he's not working with Miss Sophia or studying. This is why I suspect you have an involvement in all of this, Miss, Miss Olivia. I see. If I'm wrong, could you provide an alternate explanation? You want to know? Let's play a game. If you win, then fine. I'll tell you every anything. Do I have your word? Yes, and look, none of those monsters, right? I'm telling the truth. What's the game? Have any experience with blackjack or poker? I've never played them. I would think that you would have, but, well, I guess not. And let's play memory. You must know how to play that, don't you? With some special rules. We pick a value, and whoever matches two of that value wins. I'll let you pick what value to match. Ace! Ace would be good! So the little lady says, what about you? Yes, Ace sounds fine. Let's have a practice round. We're gonna cheat with that card, aren't we? I'll go first. Four and eight, no dice. Can I flip some? Go ahead. Yay! Two and two. Congratulations, but the rules are to match two aces, so sorry. Man. Ace and a five. Effie, remember where that ace is. I'll remember it too if you can't. 
Look out for aces showing up anywhere else, then we can win. Okay, I'll try. And the gun goes bang, bang, bang. Ma, you teach the girl a rather odd way to count. Different ace from before. Um, the last ace was here, I think. No, the ace is... Huh? What is it? Flip a card before we all die of old age. Oh no, you cheaters! You're the cheaters here! And then we're going to cheat in retaliation, aren't we? Effie, flip one at random. Wrong one! Then it's my turn. Ace of diamonds, ace of spades. I win. Got an idea for the of the game. Ready for the real match. Is it alright if we add some special rules of our own? True, it wouldn't be fair to give one of us the advantage. First, make it best of three. Whoever wins two matches is the overall winner. Second, after each turn, the cards in play should all be shuffled. Ooh. Both sound fine to me. Let's add those rules. How about we have our game in the game downstairs? In the game room downstairs. You know, if you're shuffling them, I don't think it's memory anymore, but... Memory's not gonna work anyway. Okay, that's fine. Oh, and one more thing. Can we have the match a little later tonight? Very well. Meet me there at seven. Yes, ma'am. Hmm. He completely took our memories there. I had no idea where the ace was. Did you actually remember it in the first place? <laughs> but what do we do? There's no way we can win against that. I've got an idea. Let's check out the place we're having the game. Hmm. But first, let's restore our health and SP and stuff, because those freaking little lies have been like... Ow. It's made of clear glass. Oh yeah, look at that, it is. It's see-through, pretty. Specifically made to prevent cheating. Hmm. There's enough space for a person to fit in there. Can we do something like that? Yeah, it's not cheating if there aren't any rules. We'll plan out a way to ensure we win two rounds. Let's get to our room. You wear that blanket over your head. Okay! <laughs> Can you see my face with that on? Yep! Oh my god, just the blanket. Clearly, even the scar on the left cheek. Yeah, real clear. Huh, dragons must have better vision than people. What's this for? It's a way to win run one round. Two, if we're not caught. Hmm, huh, that's not much of a guarantee, is it? Yeah, that's why we've got your precious trump card. As an ace, right? Oh yeah, Mr. Lucas gave it to me. It's got my name, but he said I could rub it off. Good, now it's guaranteed. Listen, Effie, I'll explain what we're going to do tonight. I'll say it three times tops, so remember it. Okay! It's hot in this blanket. You can take it off now. Almost time. We gotta get there before them. I'm sleepy from waiting. Listen, the plan relies on you. We can't do it without you. Stay awake! Now, let's go. Stay awake, Efina. We need you. We need to cheat, because... the cheating. Well... It's not cheating if there's no rules! Sorry for the wait. Hmm? Where's the girl? Oh, she went to the bathroom. It's not a problem to start without her, is it? I suppose not. Also, sorry, but the air conditioning's really cold. Do you have a blanket? My, are you alright? Wait a moment. Is that sufficient? Sorry to trouble you, I think I'm fine now. Then, let us begin. There is so much space between us at this table. I went first, so why don't you go? I went first before. Good talking. Okay. Seven and three. Nope. Two and king. Nope. Queens. Ace. Ah, an ace. Alas. Ace. Here it comes. Your hand faltered. I'll flip one in a sec. Here. Ace of spades, ace of clubs. Matched. Huh. Haha, uh -huh, congratulations. But you mustn't cheat. What are you hiding under that blanket there? What do you mean? When you chose the ace, I saw it shake a little. That was no shiver. Were you hiding something in your cape? That moved up to the front. C can you really hide? Uh, I guess she's pretty tiny. Was that little shaking a tap on your foot to tell you where the ace was? You can tell me, Effie. You're so good, Miss Olivia. I worked so hard to learn how to signal it, too. <laughs> I'm very skilled at seeing through those tricks. But I'll let you have that victory. 
And since you won, you can go first again. Right. Ace, five. I want to mix them up. Don't be so rough that they fly off the table. Aw, okay. My, two aces. I win. Well, want to keep going. There's the snake tail. You can't pull your cheap trick anymore. I'll play. This hasn't been settled yet. I go first, of course. Nope. Nope. Ace and king. Ace. Ace of diamonds. Ace of hearts. Match. Hmm. Congratulations. As I promised, you may ask me anything. Sweet. Let's do this. Make it. Oh. So, about me and Lucas. Yes. Well, it's true. We've been fighting constantly as of late. Because Lucas keeps talking with and touch talking with and touching other women despite having me. He can't exactly be mine alone anymore. Don't you find it terrible? Yelling at him does no good, so I did those things to him so his body might learn. Though he's had plenty of trouble with other women still. Now if the manager found out about his fighting, she'd want she'd know it was me right away, yes? Thus I had William help me to cleanly erase that. Another expression of my love. Have a problem with it? Nephew, this is the kind of girl who shackles guys and throws away the key. Don't grow up to be like her, alright? But I don't know how to shackle or not shackle nobody. Huh, <laughs> any other questions? Feel like turning yourself in? Why? Am I doing anything wrong? I think I know what'll happen if I just tell the police what you just told me. Sure, yes, I suppose. But that last match, when you shuffled the cards at the start of the turn, you casually slid into an ace of hearts, didn't you? I've got a good eye for this, you know. And card placements. I knew all of them from the start. Of course you did. What I told William to erase was the location of another ace. So you retained the memory of the ace you brought in. Shame on you. One mustn't let their cheating be exposed no matter what the variety. By the way... Oh no, not again. Oh, what? I didn't promise I'd let you go unharmed. Oh, God. No, oh, snake lady, stop. What is this? Is the yellow pit in here?